these sanctions are biting deeper and more quickly than anyone expected, in large part because the Venezuelan economy is in such total disarray. Venezuela sits on the world's largest proven oil reserves. It ships about 500,000 barrels to the U.S. every day. Oil money pays for the vast majority of the nation's food supply. So U.S. officials knew they were hitting Maduro where it counts. Today's measure uh, totals $7 billion in assets blocked today, plus over $11 billion in lost export proceeds over the next year. Venezuela's economy has been in shambles for years. Refineries have crumbled. So in spite of those vast oil reserves, Venezuela imports hundreds of thousands of barrels of gasoline every day. Fuel supplies could run out within a week. That could lead to a catastrophe as diesel fuels a large part of the country's power generation. Meanwhile, the global oil market is already trying to adjust. This ship has literally been turning in circles for days. It's among dozens of oil tankers that were headed to the Gulf Coast, but can't get paid in the U.S. now. No one seems to be, you know, steering the overall ship of Venezuela's uh, energy industry, and these tankers don't seem to know where, where they want to go. And so the political crisis feeds off the economic crisis, and right now neither seem likely to get better. Peter Armstrong, CBC News, Toronto.